this? This? This is Paranormal Divers. There is something under the boat right now. Here we are, Lake Elizabeth, or La Laguna del Diablo, as it was named by Spanish missionaries. So the legend states that the devil himself created the lake and placed one of his own demons inside it as a guardian to the gateway to hell. They say that if you swim deep enough, eventually you'll find a secret passage direct to the underworld, which isn't entirely far-fetched as the lake lies directly over the San Andreas Fault. The creature has been described as having bat wings and a length of 50 feet. That's you. It's a horrible, nauseating stench and this ear-splitting scream. In the 1850s, American settlers tried to establish themselves near the lake. But screams at night, unnatural noises, visions, winged creatures drove them away from these fertile soils. Then came Don Chico Lopez, establishing an entire ranch along this lake. The workers reported livestock and animals disappearing, and all the owners were forced to sell. This is where the tale gets weird. The spawn of the devil that inhabited Elizabeth Lake has also been linked to the area around Tombstone, Arizona, and the infamous Thunderbird photograph. The Thunderbird photograph, if you don't know, is a possible picture taken in early 1890 of several cowboys and ranchers holding up what appears to be a pterodactyl. Lake Elizabeth, it's a public park. It closes at 10 o'clock. We've gotten special permission to be here after that. We're gonna be looking for the monster at witching hour, 12 midnight, because that's when the beast has been seen the most. You've never seen any monsters here, no, no the leathery wing creatures. You did, nothing bumped your boat today? No. Okay. I don't see any. So, Spence, you're gonna go in this water? Yeah, it's, it's pretty messed up, I think. Well, look, do you see this foam here? This foam might be from algae, and the algae might be from the stuff that's being poured into this water. I used to work for the College of Agriculture in Pennsylvania, and uh, they had this concept they called nutrient runoff, which basically means it's the cow manure that flows off the hillsides into the water and makes this water green. This is all algae. So have you ever caught any fish out here? Have you ever, seen, ever like caught anything at all? No. No? Not really. Not really? Okay. They're not catching any fish here because all this algae is blocking the sunlight and, that, and the fish can't live. Is that gonna make it tough for anything to live in this lake? Well, if, uh, if there's any truth to these monster legends, that's obviously not a normal creature. Yeah. You know, we, initially we heard that there were no fish in this water. I was thinking, maybe it's eating it. Yeah, maybe it's eating the, the, the sea life. Um, I think, that, I think your, your assessment of the algae is better. Have you smelled this stuff? Yeah, it smells awful. Didn't they say the creature smelled them? The creature smells, but it's probably because they've been walling around in the f***ing manure. I'm sorry. Here, I'm wow. <laughs> Here, I haven't seen any swimming signs or anything like that. So there's not, they're, they're not saying that the water is toxic, but this is pretty concerning. It's 112 degrees right outside of Los Angeles. Summer day, and there's not one person swimming. Well, uh, we got the smell confirmed for the creature. We know where the smell came from. I'm a little concerned about Spence going into this water. He's got a scuba suit on. He's got his rubber booties on. He's sealed in rubber. He's gonna be fine. It's disgusting. It's pretty awful. I'm not going in there. Have at it, man.